The 2017 America East Outdoor Track and Field Championship was hosted at the Reggie Atkins Track and Field Facility at the University of New Hampshire. Fans filled the stands as inclement weather cleared Saturday afternoon and remained favorable for Sunday's events. New Hampshire coach Jim Boulanger was asked what it meant to host this year's championship. Oh, I think it's it's just great to be uh, hosting. I think every school likes to. I think it's an educational, uh, you know, situation for the kids from other schools. They get to come. They get to see Durham. It's beautiful. You know, get College Woods to go for a cool down for the distance guys. So, uh, you know, teams stay in Portsmouth and Dover and, and get to see the, uh, you know, Seacoast part in New Hampshire. New Hampshire junior Eleanor Purrier, who holds the nation's top time in the steeplechase, won gold in the event for the second time in three years. The first record of the weekend came in the men's 10,000 meter run, where UMass Lowell junior Paul Hogan finished in a time of 30 minutes, 30.18 seconds, shattering the previous mark by over six seconds. Another River Hawk set a new America East championship mark. This time, it was sophomore Kirsten Darsney who cleared a record height of 5 feet 10.75 inches in the high jump. Darsney was named most outstanding field performer after the meet. In the women's 100 meter hurdles, Stony Brook's Courtney Warden outpaced the field, setting a new meet record in the process with a time of 13.52 seconds. Most outstanding track performer Stephanie Osuji won the women's 100 meter and 200 meter dashes. I am, I, I don't know if you can tell, but just talking, I'm like out of breath. But um, like I said, it's, it's the coaching. You know, Coach Junior, Coach Junior Burnett, he teaches us like, whenever we run, he'll have us do like a hard 220 and then have a certain amount of recovery and then come back and do maybe like a 120 or another race. And just him teaching us how to recuperate and how to get ready for the next event and still go out 95 to 100%. That's, that's all that it's about. <laughs> New Hampshire's 4x800 meter relay teams both finished in record times, igniting the crowd on hand. The women's team, anchored by Purrier, completed the race in 8 minutes 47.16 seconds. The men followed with a time of 7 minutes 32.22 seconds, and both teams repeated as gold medal winners in the event. At the end of the weekend, it was Albany who had the last laugh, claiming the championship on both the men's and women's sides for the ninth consecutive year.